Okay, so as we are going to consider our algebraic expressions as a continuation from our term two, remember we had or worked with our algebraic expressions. So this time it is going to be a continuation working with these algebraic expressions. So I'm just going to have a recap so that you do understand what we had from the understanding of our terms. Remember we had that. So in this case, we're going to just have a continuation. Remember what you had before? If you're given something like this, that is 7x, this is called a term. If you're given maybe 7x plus 3, or maybe this is 8x minus 3y plus a 2, like whatever that you're given, these are referred to as expressions, which is a combination of what? Terms. The terms are being combined together by addition or subtraction. They are separated by addition or subtraction, whereas a term is a product of a number and a letter or letters. They can be letters like this. It's still called a term as it is like this. It is still called a term. And we do understand that on a term, there is a coefficient, which is the number multiplying the term. It is called the coefficient. So this is the coefficient of what? Of x. If I am given 3x squared, the 3 is the coefficient of what? This is the coefficient of x squared. It is x squared that we have. So it's the coefficient, the number that is affecting the term. So in this case, we're not going to waste much time. Like I said, it's a recap. We have got a small exercise to consider. Uh, there we are given. Copy and complete the following table. So if you check, we have got a statement that is in words. Then we have got the flow diagram. Then the expression to represent this statement that we are given in words. Multiply a number by three. So as long you are given a number, you are given this condition that they are saying, multiply a number, a certain number that you do not know. You are going to consider that number to be represented by a letter. So you are going to let, okay, let the unknown number, let the unknown or let the number if you want. Okay, the unknown number bx. So, or just say, let x be equal to the number, just like that. We do not know this number. So x, let it represent that number. So they are saying a number here is multiply a number by three. So that is multiply a number by three. There is a number here that is to be multiplied by what? By three. Then add two to the answer. We are going to add two to the answer that you obtain after multiplying. So what is going to be the expression? Remember we said, let this number be what? Be x. So it means we're going to have three times x or x times three, which is same as three x. Remember three times x, three x, one and the same thing. So that means in terms of this multiplying to the number, it is going to be 3x. But whatever that we have, we must add 2 to the number. So we are going to add a 2 to the number, which is to the answer that you are given. Okay, we add 2 to the answer. All right, this is the same part. They gave us an expression. They want us to have the flow diagram just like this and also to write in words. So guys, this is just a reverse. Check note. The number is multiplied by what? By 9. Meaning to say, on our flow diagram, we are going to have something like this multiplied by what? By 9. Then what is happening here to the answer? We subtract a 6 on the answer in this case, minus a 6. We are going to have an answer there. So meaning to say, in this case, we are simply saying multiply. So as we are given, uh, that is, we're going to multiply a number, remember the unknown number, which is the unknown. Multiply a number by what? What are we multiplying with? By nine. 
okay? So you're going to multiply by 9. Then what happened to the answer? On this answer that we are obtaining here, we are going to subtract 6. Minus, that is to subtract. So, and subtract. And subtract 6, okay? The 6 that you're given, going to write this, all right? Subtract 6 to the answer. Just like that. All right, so remember you're supposed to have this in what? In words. Even these numbers such as 9, 6, they're supposed to be in words also. All right, there we are given an expression is flow diagram. What is going to be the statement in words? So as you can see, guys, x was multiplied by 7, meaning to say multiply a number by what? By 7. So it's just a repetition here. We're going to multiply, that is multiply a number by what? By 7. All right. So in these cases, take the way that you're given, like where there's a product, whatever that you're given. Yes, you can write in your own ways, but you can even try to have the same way they're writing here. So after multiplying this number by 7, and what's going to happen there? We subtracted a 3, meaning to say we are going to subtract there is a minus there. So, and subtract. So, to subtract, that is to have a minus. And subtract what? Three. So, there we are going to subtract three to the answer. Just like that. So, meaning to say, to the answer, this one, we are going to subtract a, a three. Just like that. All right. So, that was what you were required to do. Just go through your revisions, your recap. Just want to need to understand uh, back our algebra as what we had from our term two. Question number two, which of the following pairs consist of like terms? Remember what is a like term? I talked about this, uh, a like term, if you are given 3x and 4x, it must be same term. Like the, the term is supposed to be, if it is x, it must be x. And also the exponent is supposed to be the same. It must be raised to the same power. If this is x to the power two, x, three x squared and four x squared are like terms. So if there is a z here, if there's a z also, it must be same power or same exponent. So it must be the same letter, same exponent or the same letters, and same exponent. All right. So let's see. There we have got uh, 3y and, so this is a separation, this one. There are two terms. They're saying which of the following pairs consist of like terms. So this is 3y and the other one is minus 7y. So as you can see on the letters, these letters y and y here, they are raised to the same exponent. This is to the exponent of 1 to the exponent of 1. So that makes these to be what? To be like terms because we have got the same letter, same exponent. But if you check, this is e to raised to the exponent of one. This is raised to the exponent or to the power of two. So they are not like terms because they are different. So this one is not going to work. Okay, let's check the other one. This is three y squared z, 17 y squared z. As you can see, this is y squared y squared, same letter, same exponent, a z and a z, raised to the exponent of one, exponent of, they are the same. So meaning to say, this is also a like term. They are like terms, these ones. All right, minus b, c, d, then yet we have got five b, d, all right? As you can see, on this one, we do not have a c. If there was a C, it was going to be a like term, but we do not have a c. So this one is not. So this was going to be part of the like terms, and this one was going to be part of the like terms. Write the following in the normal algebraic, write in a normal, the normal way. The normal is to have, if, you, if you're given five times x, five times x, it's five x, five times x, three times b, three b. That is the normal way. So look at what is happening here. C2. Yes, yes it's, it's like C times 2. It's what? 2C. It's best for you to start with a number. 
So we are going to have this as 2C plus D3. So it's best right as what? 3D. Start with a number followed by a letter. That is what you're supposed to with. That is the normal algebraic way. 7 times D times E times F. It's a product everywhere. So this is same as 7 D E F. That is the normal way than to write your answer is seven times. It's like one times C. Instead of writing your answer is one times C, it's what? It's simply a C. Two times C. This is two C. So the one there is invisible. Remember that. Okay, so that was it. Let us check number four. Consider the expression. Uh, this expression we are given 12x squared minus 5x plus 3. A, what is the number 12 called? 12, this one, the 12. So as you can see, there we've got 12x squared minus 5x plus a 3. All right, so this is our expression. Remember, sum of, of terms, combination of terms added or subtracted. So that's, that makes it to be an expression. So they're saying, what is this 12? What is the number 12 called? So 12 is called the coefficient. So it is the coefficient, but of what? The coefficient of this term, the coefficient of this part, which is the coefficient of x squared. Just like what you write down the coefficient of, you must be told of what? So even if you are writing the coefficient of what? Yes, it's true. It's a coefficient, but of what? All right. Write down the coefficient of x, the number that is multiplying x. This is where our x is, the part of x. Check the number and its sign as it is on our x here. What is the number there? The number is a minus 5. That is the coefficient of x all right then see what name is given to the number three this number three as we can see on three we do not have x we do not have a letter we do not have x we do not have y it's just a three what is that type of a number? It's a special number that is called a constant. Remember, a constant. So that is a constant. So a constant is that number where you do not have a variable, where you do not have these letters, these variables, X, Y, whatever letter that you are given, that number is called a constant, not a coefficient, but a, a constant. A coefficient is a number that is on a letter, multiplying a letter like this. But the moment you add a three, three is now a constant. This three, it's a constant. But the seven is the coefficient of X. So do not confuse between the two. All right. Then we move on to question five. Explain why the term, this one, are like terms. Why are they called like terms? All right, if we check, there is a P, there is a P, there is a P also, all right? There is a Q, there is a Q, there is also a Q, all right? There is R in this case, there is R in this case, there is R in this case. So as, as you can see, we are simply talking of the same terms. It's, a, it's a considered to be like terms as we have got the same letters raised to the same powers all right they are of the same power same letters so that makes it to be uh like terms so remember this you can write as five p q r like this and this one you can even write as minus 10 p q r the way that you understand 15 p q r the way that you understand is you can see same letters that you have in same power so that makes it to be a like term number six if y is equal to seven what is the value of each of the, if it's an assumption, you assume that y is equal to a seven is an assumption. In place of y, you substitute a, a seven. If it's like you are given that y is seven for that question, 
So what is going to be the value of y plus 8? If y is, so you just substitute by substitution. All right, so you must think of the substitution. In place of this y, you substitute the number that you're given as 7. 7 plus 8. So you can add, even if you do not know this, you can use your calculator to add the 2. That is going to give us a 15. All right. Then the other part, we are given 9y. So 9y like this is going to be 9y. Remember, when you're given 3x, means three times x so it's the same thing even if there is a y there it's gonna be the same thing it simply means nine times y so that is nine times what is the value of y remember y is what is seven and nine times seven and that is gonna be a 63 so it's gonna be like that a product nine times that's a product all right the other part on D, uh, on C, sorry, that is 7 minus Y on item C. 7 minus Y. So that is 7 minus, you subtract the value of Y that you're given, which is also a 7. So this is 7 minus a 7, and that is going to give us a 0. That means we do not have anything left. So these are the typical questions that you must consider, revise through for your exams. We shall see more questions and also work with our typical exam questions so that we do understand how are they going to ask these typical questions at the end.